ask for another one. And here it is. State 795. Head northwest for a bit. And traffic has thinned down a bit, which is a good sign because traffic is still horrendous on these roads. Due to the virus, I'm not sure, but speaking of which, limit 60, they're talking about 80. Ditto. At this point, our freeway will end, and we're put onto route. What is this? 140 westbound. I almost forgot. I'm slipping up. Not too bad of a day out there, though. The temperature is almost 100 degrees, but at least not too much humidity. About now, the traffic is worse than the temperature as we pass through Westminster. As long as we're in the area, let's see what's happening here at Bloggers. Let's see what's in season. What can we pick? Don't know what they got for the pickings. Let's see if any aminals are out. Yeah, why not? Okay. Let's check things out. Okay. Apparently some stuff got changed since our last visit. Doing some remodeling or something. Don't scare the animals. Okay, you got it. This guy really gets my goat. Check out the emu. Again, limu emu. We're having fun, huh? Well, no goatee though on that one. And up there, some goats on the roof or on something. Well, they're up there. I guess they want to get high. Good day to bring your family here though, except for the fact that it's hot. But I'm standing in the shade, shooting at the heat. See, they're up there in the shade. They're pretty smart. Just up and over in front of him, and you'll be just fine. And here's some ducklings. At least they aren't ugly. And check her out. A real swinger, isn't she? Looks like fun. So does that. Yep, the whole family's out. A couple of alpacas here. Of course, they're in the llama family.
I'll check that out. And again, the likes to wonder thing, talking to strangers. Oh, he's hot. Oh, yeah, kids love him. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You want to get one, put it in the backyard. <laughs> all in all, a great spot to bring your kids. If you have any. I've only got a turtle. Oh no, the birds are attacking me. They're following me around. Ah. Hey turkey, what's up? Ah, ah. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him or her. Continuing west, 140. Our next hot spot will be the tiny town of Tawny. And here it is. Back in the 90s, I'd play with my special effects built into my tape camera when it got to this spot, for whatever reason. But now instead of the camera, I gotta do it in my PC with the editing software. Oh, whatever, bring some memories back. And up here at Tawny Town Station, Move the block from the track, which is right up ahead. Former Penn Line, now Maryland Midland. And downtown Tawny Town. A Civil War town. Hope it's over. And back into the spaces. Well, kind of, sort of. And some place up here is my road. And here it is. Bullfrog Road. Even I got one. All right. Passing through Bridgeport. Only six houses. That's all there is to Bridgeport, Maryland. And some place up here is a farm where I used to go deer hunting with my dad. And here it is on the right. There's the farmhouse. Don't know if the same man owns it. His name was taken off the mailbox, so I'm not sure. Away in the distance, Catoctin Mountain. And up here, our next point of interest. Hermitsburg. In the center of town, Old Route 15 at the light, Old US 15, south to the left, north to the right. It's towns like this that need to be preserved. 
forget the big cities. Too much rioting and protesting. I prefer the simple life. And soon, we'll be crossing state lines. And up here is where that occurs. North of the border, into Pennsylvania. Now it's official, we're foreigners. At least the traffic has receded a bit. That's good. Up here, up here right, I pick up old PA-16, as I normally do when I get here. The original route. Then passing through Fountaindale. That's it for Fountaindale. To me, there's something about these original routes. These are the routes that, that I grew up on before they got rerouted. Like going back in time. Little factory way up there. Been there for a while. I guess that's how you get to it. Anyway, now we're ascending Jack's Mountain. And around the bend, the crossing of a former Western Maryland Railway line. Somewhere up here. Yeah, there we go. Now, of course, operated by CSX. Here you have it. I'd love to grab a train here if ever I could. Looking south. And now descending down the other side of the mountain. Head up ahead. Back at the current PA-16. The old road continues. I'll get back on the contemporary route, save some time in that direction. I hear a crossing of the Appalachian Trail. It crosses right here. From Maine to Georgia. Now that's a long walk. Even for me. And up here, the bottom of the grade. As we pass through Roseville, Roseville, pick your pronunciation. Here's the spelling. And our next town of consequence, Waynesboro. Yeah, to me, it's great passing through old towns like this. Of course, they do go on to get modernized. But what do you do? A track once crossed here diagonally from left to right. Long taken out. Now you can even tell there was ever a track here. They talk about wiping out a railroad. Worse than the Mon Pa. Reporting town. Time to get spaced again. In a manner of speaking. Now a place called Zollinger. Now coming into a place called Shady Grove. There was a rock band back in the 60s that did a song called Shady Grove. Who recalls 
Quicksilver Messenger Service. They were famous for their big hit, Fresh Air, but they did a song called Shady Grove as well. In the song they say, Shady Grove, where all the pigs have tails. Oh, I get it. And our next point of interest, Green Castle. And now we're stopped by one of my favorite points of interest, a train station. Green Castle Station. And apparently, more than just a station. And apparently, the tracks once ran down the middle of the road. Had some street running here. Wanna read it? Hit pause. Here it is, track side. Unfortunately, a fence blocks some of the view of the track. And of course, now it's all Norfolk Southern. A couple of freight doors there. Obviously, I hope. And to the north. Would be great to catch Norfolk Southern right about now. And apparently this station is part of Virtual Rail Fan. They have cameras and microphones. I wonder if they'll pick me up. Hey, it's your bullfrog. Anybody watching? The bullfrog's here. And down here, the road that brought us here. I'm East West Route. And the road that'll take us out of here as well. We'll be going down there and turning left. Yep, that's our train station. High up there. All right, we're out of here. I just missed. Oh well, can't win them all. Well, at least I got something. Here at the light, the road that the tracks once went through. Now, modern day US 11. And departing Green Castle. After some rail fanning that almost went wrong, well, it was unplanned. Now, passing through Upton. Distance, just like Aurora Mountain. And it's getting closer. Now entering Mercersburg. Hope I said that right. A very patriotic place. Lots of flags. This place once had rail service too, but long, I guess discontinued, tracks been pulled up, and no train station in any place in the town. There was a spur off the pen line that then ended about two blocks to the right, 
to the east. We bent to the north for a bit, but about to bend back to the west. As I guess it's obvious with that bright sun. As we depart. And again, Tuscarora, closer yet. There's a bit of a gap there we're going to pass through. We're not going to cross the mountain itself, though. This is Cove Gap. Now, President Buchanan was born here somewhere. If you believe the sign I just saw. I'm looking for a turn to go south. Ah, there it is. Here's my turn. PA 456. And there's today's lottery number for you. Either my first time over this road or the first time in 30 years, one of the two. I know where it goes though. Or rather woodsy. Makes it kind of nice. Now we're out of the woods. At least the road's peaceful. That's all I ask. Let me pass it some stuff every now and then. Despite our remote location. Interesting passing these lone buildings. I guess that's a church or a former church. Colleague with Graveyard. Then we could live way out here. But it'd be a long way to the Walmart. mountain over there that parallels us. But even out here, life goes on. But being way out here does have some advantages. You're far from, from all that protesting and rioting, and far from the COVID-19, too. Perfect. What would happen there? How far back do you, would you think that was lived in? And we should soon be crossing back into Maryland. Nobody on the road. This highway is mine. That's a song too, by someone named Steve Earl. And over there, part of Tuscarora. And more farm stuff. again. Well, for a short time. The folks do live out here. I would assume. We have a Kohnabi mountain there. 
And up here, back in the Maryland, Washington County. No highway number here in Maryland, though. Here, just a plain old road. I just turned onto something called Slab Town Road. Don't know how it got the name. And more mountain scenery. Up our first time over this road. And maybe yours too. Just pulled a U-turn, three point whatever, because behind me, the road turned to dirt. I prefer to keep it paved. I hang a left at this here stop sign and head south. That direction. And hopefully, I'll come out onto the original National Pike. Which I've shown you all before. But you'll see it again. And again, another first time road here. And somehow we wind up on the original National Pike going west. And this is it. We're not going that far though. We're going as far as Little Pool on the Cienu Canal. Which acts as my turning left here. Now in the parking lot for the canal. And over here, spaces with my name on them. Little pool's down that way. But first, have a look at the Western Maryland Rail Trail. That way's west, towards Hancock. And this way is east, towards Big Pool Junction. Some place I have pictures of the tracks still in place, but I can't find them. There's even a crossing signal here for the trail access. And here it is, Little Pool on the CNO Canal. And the canal's towpath, where I've had many a bike ride, many, many times. Now bridging onto eastbound 70. Traffic's picking up as we head east. I know what. Let's get off right here at for Williamsport. See how close I can get to the Kanakachig Aqueduct. Now entering Williamsport, your one time typical canal town. And they were stopped by the Sino Canal's Kanakachig Aqueduct. That wall there was knocked out during a boat accident back in 1920 when the boat went through the aqueduct and fell into the creek. And four years later, the canal abandoned. And this is Kashua Basin. Canal boats at one time tied up in that area. And over here, 
Kash was itself. There was a Western Maryland Railway branch behind there, and they would, be, they would be transferring freight from canal boat to train, and from train to canal boat. Some rails here in the ground, never noticed before. Maybe a spur came this way off the main line. Which was behind Kush was at one time. A distant siren. As I said, the rail line ran behind that building at one time. Ran this direction. And across the canal, the distant bridge. Way down there. That one. It served a power plant for a while directly behind, but even that ceased to be served about 40 years ago. There's the spokestack of the power plant. And the highway bridge, you see there is North South US 11. At this point, it almost runs east west. And of course, the, the obligatory waterfowl. Now departing, Kush was. And again, our waterfowl. Move it, move it, move it. They aren't afraid, are they? And again, downtown Williamsport. But again, pit stop time. Wouldn't you know it? Not a usual spot. Thanks to time lapse. I'm out of here. Proceeding out on US 11. We're not going to be on this road too long, though, because we're picking up Interstate 81 North for just an exit. Can't go all the way to Harrisburg. Sorry about that. Rather, we're getting back on 70. We sort of have to. Yeah, towards Frederick and Baltimore. All those cool places. It's a little after 7.30 p.m. Guess I'll head on back. And directly in front of us, South Mountain. to ascend it. Now at the top, the pass beneath the Appalachian Trail, which I have walked part of, that part back there. I watch these guys here. And over there, Katahdin now. We saw part of it earlier. Messages though. This time, wash your hands. Y'all got that? Now passing the Frederick area. And again, the truck inspection station that's almost never open. I've heard that many trucks used to avoid this route because of those way stations. They would take the road that we were on earlier, Route 140, 
instead of this way, just to avoid being weighed. As that one song said back in the 90s, I take the back road so I don't get weighed. I forget who did it though. Yeah, we're losing light. Time to get back, I guess. Part of the sun set in the mirror, but tough to capture. So in that case, and finally, back in the Baltimore area. Nope, we're not going to New York. That's next time. Maybe. We're back on Baltimore's Beltway, where folks are apparently still speeding. Oh well, I can't win. Whoa. Holy NASCAR. SD chip. You all saw it. And folks say I should keep my mouth shut. I'm not complaining about them. But look at it this way. I nearly lost my life back in 82 because of someone's negligence on the road. Not going to happen again. No more close calls for this frog. Nope. This frog might croak. As I explained in a previous video, I almost croaked three times. Don't want to go for a fourth. Our exit, at long last. Gotta get off this dangerous road. These days, really all roads are. And suddenly back in the hood. Sorry about that sudden cut there. My chip just ran out of recording space. So I had to change chips. But once again, thank you for the privilege of your time. Very much appreciated. Took some new roads today. And saw some historic spots. Hope you enjoyed. And once again, your bullfrog telling you, stay safe.